I'm in Cape Town, South Africa for Gay Pride. I want to get a little history, learn the acceptance or prejudice in the gay community, and discover the hot spots to go to. What's gay life like here? It's pretty accepted, right? Yes, it is. Yeah, oh, look at us. Nelson Mandela implemented a new constitution in 1996, banning discrimination based on sexual orientation, making South Africa a global leader for gay rights. Cape Town people can actually enjoy being gay and accept it. It's a natural part of just living here, like the, the fact that there's gay people doesn't matter. As a gay man, the things that you want to make sure you don't miss are some of the best parts of Cape Town. Everybody here goes and hikes uh, Lion's Head. Hawking up the Lion's Head. It's hot as fuck. I'm not just hiking, I'm climbing a mountain. People say that Lion's Head is easy. This is so intense. Not around the world. <laughs> so we just climbed Lion's Head, how's it feel? Lots of energy. <laughs> Gays, you want to exercise, you want to go to the gym, you want to get arms like mine, slash like they need to get bigger, but it's a work in progress. I was hauling my ass up rocks on my hands and knees. Awesome workout, the views are totally worth it. Now I'm heading out for some wine and biking. I'm in Stellenbach. Stellenbach, Stellenbach, South Africa. It's like 95 degrees here. If you're gonna go see a winery, you might as well get some exercise. We did an aggressive bike tour. Aggressive. We would bike five miles, drink six wines. Bike five miles, drink six wines. Alcohol and exercise go together. Two best things. Um, after sweating my face off, I'm hungry. Fucking come to beefcake. The guys' bodies are sick. The burgers are luscious, the drag queens perform live every night, and the cocktails are anything but basic. Now I'm tearing up the gayborhood. Amsterdam Action, a bear bar with a dark room upstairs. Gula, the only lesbian bar with the sickest dance beats. Hot House, the most pristine bathhouse with a bar and a rooftop jacuzzi. Ending my night at the biggest gay club, Crew, where everybody goes to get turned up. I'm about to do a body shot. My first body shot that I've ever done. Staying out of my comfort zone, I go on the gay app Hornet, and no, not for sex, but to find the hottest beach in town, a nudist beach called Sandy Bay. You're from Cape Town. Cape Town, yes, Devotacod. Devotacod. What do you think about this little beach we got here? It's really private. You have to bring an umbrella. Didn't bring an umbrella. And of course, a cooler bag with a few drinks. Didn't bring that. When you go to the nude beach, don't forget to put sunblock on your ass. So that happened. The views at this beach were stunning. And it's cool to see how Hornet is used in other parts of the world. How it's not just about sex, but gaining insight on what to do in different cities. Pride here was so much fun, and the local suggestions on where to go were nailing it. If you find yourself in Cape Town, don't you worry. There's a type for everyone. And you might even do your first body shot or get your ass burnt at the nude beach. P.S. Hands down, this is the most inexpensive place I've ever been. Four course dinner, bottle of wine, dessert for 200 rand. You must be joking me. I can't wait to explore the hottest cities all around the world. See you on my next adventure. Bobby around the world. Are we ro oh, we're rolling. Okay, Robbie around the world's here clearly with my production crew. Filming in progress. We're gonna take you around Cape Town, South Africa, and we're gonna get it done. Rob you around the world, filming in progress. <laughs>